Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and in this one we're gonna take a look at a couple of different taming cages It was suggested by this user on discord quite a while ago. I forgot about it But uh, suddenly I just like oh wait, I have a video I have to make so uh, I'm gonna show you five taming cages that might come in handy when you're playing Ark Survival Evolved uh, But before we get into that, please subscribe to the channel and like the video it helps me out a lot, and it is completely free. And worst case, you can just unsubscribe later. So, uh, anyways, let's get into this. And a final thing, I'm making most of these cages out of stone, but you can use whatever material that you see best fit. Alright, so the first cage is a starter taming cage that you can use to tame a lot of different creatures. So if you have limited resources, this one is perfect for the earlier game. So what you want to do here is find a location that has a lot of different creatures around so that you can find a lot of different creatures to tame with the cage. I found this area in the south of the map next to the red obelisk, which has a swamp, a river, and a jungle. So it has some different uh, habitats so that we'll find a lot of different creatures around. So what you want to do is place out uh, six wooden foundations in a two by three formation. Then you want to put door frames around the sides with the exception of one of the two wide sides where you want to put a gate instead. Then put fence foundations on top of the doors and put ramps at the back end. And if you want to, you can also put that under the gate. And we have our cage complete, so very simple. So now to demonstrate how to use it, uh, I found this trike, so let's uh, aggro it and lead it up the ramp, simple as that. Then it just drops down, you can run out the side doors, and it is trapped. It will deal a little bit of damage to the wood, but you should be able to knock it out before the wood breaks. You can see here that I'm gonna use a slingshot just to prove that you can use slingshots and not uh, trank arrows with this cage. So I'm just gonna skip forward until I've got this one down. And I had to use clubs at the end here because uh, it almost died, so boom. We got it knocked out though using only primitive equipment, no trank arrows needed, and you can see the damage on the structure is just a couple hundred damage, so it should work perfectly fine. You can also use it to trap raptors, same concept, just lead them in. They won't be able to destroy the cage either, so that's perfect. And you can of course tame something bigger too. Uh, I think the biggest carnivore pretty much you can tame is a uh, Carnotaurus, but you have to do one extra step, so I'm just gonna show that real quick. So just lead the Carno in the cage like I'm doing here, uh, but you need to put railings uh, on top of the ramps because they can walk over one wall tile high structures. So to make sure it doesn't escape, just put some uh, railings there and boom, you got him trapped. Uh, you can knock him out safely and uh, yeah, so this cage works pretty well. This next one is an Argentavis taming cage, so there are a lot of them out there. This is the one I use. It's pretty cheap and easy to utilize. So for this one, you want to make four dino gates. You might be able to get off using only three, but I'm going to use four so I have a little bit of clearance in there. Then you want to line them up with a small little gap in each like this. You can kind of just eyeball it, or you can use actually fence foundation if you want a more perfectly aligned one. Then you want to put the actual gate in on one side and the other side you want to put two pillars. That way your Pteranodon can fly through the top while the Argentavis cannot. So then we got to lead an Argentavis into the cage and when we got him inside you can see that if we land the Pteranodon in front it stays aggroed on the Pteranodon so you can easily go around the back and close the door without worrying about it flying out because as you can see it just stays on the Pteranodon. As simple as that. And then of course after you've closed the gate you can just knock it out like any other creature. Simple as that one you can also use it on griffins but again I demonstrated with this RG. The next taming cage is a very small small one and cheap to build that I've used several times in my creature videos if you've seen those and it's a very simple one foundation down door frames on all sides railings on top of the door frames so that no dinos can walk through them and also a ramp leading up one end simple as that it is very cheap you can build it wherever you find the creatures and it's very useful for those moments where you find a terror bird a baryonyx or a raptor or something very far away from your base and you just want to get something cheap down to tame it and this one works perfectly for that so I'm gonna demonstrate on these raptors by just leading them into the cage you can lead multiple ones in as you can see and then you can proceed to knock them out when you got them trapped there 
Then you have the large carnivore taming cage, the ones that don't fit through a dino gate that is, and it is very simple. So basically wherever you find your big carnivore, you can put down a dino gate and two more gates roughly 45 degrees off of the first one, so you should have something that looks like this. Then proceed to put a large bear trap in the middle of it, and then you want to lead your big carnivore into this one. When you lead it in, it will get trapped on the bear trap for a few seconds so that you can go around and put a fourth gate in blocking it in there. It'll be stuck and you can proceed to knock them out. But what if you're taming something that does fit through a dino gate? Well, I got you covered, mate. Because you can also make a pretty cheap one out of pillars. So I've also used this one in an episode. But basically you want to make 16 pillars, then put them out in this 3x3 three three formation. So three pillars in each direction but you want to leave one of them open and then once again put a bear trap in the middle lead your medium to large sized creature in and when it gets trapped on the bear trap just block off the back with the remaining pillars and then proceed to knock it out as the other ones and that pretty much covers it now if you want to see a part two where i show you five more cages then you can comment that down below or you can comment a different type of video you want me to make or just leave a lovely comment there for me to read. And of course, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Both help me out a lot, and again, they are completely free. But without any further talking, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.